Florida has set a new record for COVID-19 hospitalizations for the third day in a row. And there are not just adults getting sick. Kids do get sick. They do get into the hospital. They do get in, admitted to the ICU. They do get intubated. The state's ICUs have seen a surge in younger coronavirus patients. While severe illness from COVID-19 is rare among children, the number of hospitalizations are going up. Of the 11,000 confirmed COVID-19 patients in a Florida hospital, 138 are pediatric patients. That is roughly 1.2% of all hospitalized COVID-19 patients in the state of Florida. As scientists continue to race to create an approved vaccine for children, parents want more information on the potential long-term impact that COVID-19 has on people under the age of 12. Fatigue, breathlessness, chest pains, and trouble swallowing are just a few of the common lingering effects. A local doctor says there is a misconception about kids. Kids do get sick. They do get into the hospital. They do get in, admitted to the ICU. They do get intubated. They do get on the respirator, and they do die of it. Much less so, but they do. So I think we need to clarify that first and foremost. U of Health pediatrician Dr. Mobin Rathor says COVID-19 is an equal opportunity infector, saying children don't get as sick as adults, but they do indeed contract the coronavirus, sometimes unknowingly. Rathor says just like adults, kids are experiencing some long-term complications. I think those COVID long-term complications that we know of are, you know, you are you get brain fog, you don't feel good, you know, you, you maybe muscles are achy, you, you, you can't do things, you don't have energy. These are just some of the things we know, but there are other things that may affect your brain. Other long-term complications for children, according to doctors, include fatigue, trouble swallowing, breathlessness, insomnia, chest pains, muscle pain, diarrhea, trouble swallowing, and cold-like complaints. Rathor says underlying conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity only increase the risk of children experiencing severe symptoms from COVID. He points out that the terminology long-term effects has a much different meaning for kids. If I get COVID and I get long-term complications of COVID, I, if I'm lucky, I may have deal with it for 10 or 20 years. But if a five-year-old gets it, that five-year-old may have to deal with it for 80 years, 90 years. So as you can imagine, they have a much worse scenario they may face. Rathor says because kids are often asymptomatic, it's common for them to start experiencing long-term effects weeks after they were originally infected. And that's when the children and their parents really become aware of the initial infection. He also says there are a lot of things that doctors still don't know because the coronavirus is only 19 months old.